I have a dream. I have a dream. I am proud to join with you today in this demonstration of love, support, and defiance. We are no longer going to be pushed around by addiction or the people and organizations that support and promote it. We are no longer going to be quiet. We will be heard. Who is sick and tired of being sick and tired? Who has had enough of the stigma, the pain, and the shame? The embarrassment and humiliation of having an addict as a son or a daughter. The pain of losing someone you love to an overdose. We make a pledge that we will always march ahead. We will not and cannot be defeated because we are on the right side of history. We cannot turn back and surrender to this disease. We are spiritual warriors. And allow me to paraphrase this and make it memorable. Ever hear the speech, I have a dream? And so, even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day there will be no stigma with the disease of addiction. That a mother who says, my son is an addict, will get the same response and support that a mother gets when she says, my son has cancer. I have a dream that one day it will be just as easy to get into rehab as it is to buy a $5 pack of dope in Detroit. I have a dream that one day the response of a judge to a kid with a drug problem will be rehab, therapy, and sober living. No longer will jail and prison be the place for housing alcoholics and addicts. I have a dream that Narcan and Vivitrol and help will be available to everyone who wants and needs it. That we will judge our court system not on their ability to punish, but on their ability to rehabilitate. I have a dream that the children growing up today will not have prescription drugs filling their public schools and falling down on top of their heads. And that children growing up today will not have parents locked away for petty drug crimes. And that children growing up today will not even be able to access heroin if they wanted it. And further, to those organizations that support and promote addiction, <laughs> oh, to you I have a dream. The doctors and the AMA will no longer be drug dealers with medical degrees, that they will abide by their own oath to do no harm. That the banks that launder the billions of dollars for the drug cartels will see their CEOs and executives march off to jail, just like the petty drug users. That the millions of dollars confiscated from drug dealers will no longer go to the police and the DEA, but be used to pay for the damage done by those drug dealers. It will be used to pay for treatment and therapy. Clearly, we cannot arrest our way out of a drug problem. And once again, I have a dream that there will be no for-profit prisons and that Big Pharma will no longer be able to lie and push opiates onto people with no consequences. That when someone is addicted by a doctor, they will have their rehab paid for by the drug company and the doctor who created the problem. And for the thousands of people caught up in the war on drugs and the hopeless addicts suffering in obscurity, I have a dream that you will no longer live in shame and stigma, that you will be embraced and all your petty drug felonies removed from your record so you can live, thrive, and work where you choose. I have a dream that I live for, that one day no mother will ever know the pain of drug addiction, that no wife, no husband, no son or daughter will ever know the pain of losing someone that they love to the system or active addiction. That no child will ever cry again at the overdose funeral of their mother or their father. Very soon, spiritual warriors, there will be no more tears and we will smile in defiance. I have a dream that addiction will be beaten, broken and battered run out of town, run out of every city, every town, every hamlet, and every state, and that we will be able to live our lives free of the scourge, free of the pain, and everyone be free to live and thrive to reach their full potential.